How are we doing guys? Welcome back to another episode. Before I get into this one, I'll just give you a quick update around the boat of what I've done briefly in the meantime, and then we'll get stuck right into uh, these side pockets. From the transom video, you would have noticed that we hadn't capped off these back sections of the transom yet. Now, I've glassed those in, fair few layers of chop strand mat over that to tie it in, and I've also glassed the underside coming in where my hatch cutouts are. I've finished the live bait tank with the recess there, and it's come up an absolute treat. So we've cut our hatches out, and we've glassed up in there on the back side of those caps for the transom. Both sides are done now, and moving forward, I've done the wave breaker lip, which is our recess for our windows to sit on. And we've also glassed in our dash panel. So that's all rock solid, not going anywhere. Dash is solid, not going anywhere. I've also got our side pockets in the uh, cabin here done. We've cut a hole for our hatch up forward and we have glassed in floor section in there. Moving forward, I've made my hatch uh, recess for the front there. Uh, squared that all up and laminated three pieces of thermalite to get the height required. And then we've cut a hole and that's where we'll drop our modern hatch in. So basically that's it guys for the update. As you can see, it is taking some time. I know you guys have been wanting more videos, but it's, uh, it's difficult. And also we've had a pretty good little yellowfin bite on the south coast here and they are inshore fish. So it's really hard to turn down some days out chasing those. And we did get stuck into a few nice fish as well. All right, let's get stuck into it. So what I've done is cut out my material. I've made the I've made the thermalite section 150 mil high, and it won't actually grow any more than that because the second part of our our side pocket will drop in and sit flush on the inside here and come over and meet up against there. So that's what I was talking about getting this straight edge first, and then we'll make a template to go across there. What I've got to work out now is actually how far out I want the side pocket to come. I've put the uh, hatch in because the hatch actually protrudes past the uh, cutout so I want to make sure that I've got clearance for my hatch to open there and also I want to make sure that I've got enough height underneath to uh, get my feet under there and feet like in boots decent height but what also that height's going to do is make it easy to glass up under there as well because we are going to be glassing the underside of it as well so we don't want to be making it too difficult for ourselves up under there by giving us you know a 50 mil gap over that distance now what i'm going to do is probably bog it in place with some carbog just tack each end uh, and then we will look at making the template uh, for the inside we'll probably have to brace it somehow so it doesn't flex too much in the middle but you'll see because these sheets of thermalite are only 2.4 long i have to have put a join in there and yeah, I'm just doing a straight butt join, but you'll notice that the join lines up perfectly with where the wave breaker comes back down to the gunnel here. Now the intention is to put a small divider or a little bulkhead almost from there, straight up under the gunnel here. So it goes all the way up inside. And what that's gonna do is divide the forward section from the aft section. Now on the port side, we'll do holes for our gaff poles and uh, tag poles to slot in there and we will do some hole stiffeners down there which are also going to act as something to mount our gaff mounts and tag pole mounts to. 
the uh, idea of this uh, second bit of thermal out here to join onto it and make it all rigid is just a temporary fix until we fiberglass this side of it, uh, get it stiff enough, and then we'll remove that section and get our, our template slotted in there and away we go. So a little bit of work to go, but as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. We will have to route the edges to give it a nice radius curve over the top so we can uh, wrap our glass around. I am using 18 mil board because uh, I don't like the 15 mil board when you're trying to make a radius over the top of it. Uh, and I think the thicker stuff just looks a bit better. It just makes the boat look stronger and sturdier, which I'm pretty confident is rather strong and sturdy. So I've just used some strips of uh, cut up uh, MDF, just some thin MDF, and hot glued them to the bottom of the uh, side pocket uh, upright. And what that's gonna give us is something to make it, well basically we'll get a template out of that. We'll transpose this onto a flat sheet of Thermalite. It will sit there nice and level, and then we'll cut out our, our piece to drop in there. And fingers crossed, it drops in nicely and we can uh, then screw the bottom section off and then remove the screws from this bracing here, which will uh, give us our shape. Well, that come up pretty good. That gap along there is certainly workable with. What uh, we've got to do is just make a little template for that section in there, obviously, because the sheets are only 2.4 long. We're about 2,600 the whole way along here, or 2,660, I believe this side was. And I'm really happy of where that's sitting, and it's not going to impede the driver too much when they're sitting in the console there, but it's going to be enough to get plenty of goods down in there. Walk under it nicely with your feet. That's a huge advantage when fighting fish, to be able to get under there, jigging, things that are vertical, fighting swords, anything like that to be able to get under there and lock in really helps. And to be honest, once we put a divider up in there, I don't really think I want to put any shelving in there. I was planning on putting a shelf in there. But to be honest, I think I just like the look of a plain plain side pocket preferred over the uh, the second shelf in there. It's just my personal opinion. But so what I'll do next is I'll do the other side. I won't put that on camera because it'll just bore you. It'll just be a repeat of that. And then what we'll do is we'll pull them out and uh, basically uh, we'll route the edges.
So from that time lapse, obviously you can see what we did. And basically we've uh, prepped the surface of the Thermalite uh, board by uh, grinding it with a 16 grit uh, uh, disc on the grinder. And what that does is key the surface up uh, nicely for the, the fiberglass to bond to. Um, if you've been following this build, you'll uh, you'll notice that I've been really pushing home that you've got to scuff that surface of the thermalite, and uh, that is one of the really important things that I think you've got to do when uh, prepping thermalite for lamination. Now, you'll also notice that I've propped the side pockets up and made a little, I guess, stand to hold them. So I've just screwed that through, so I can glass basically over and under every side and it's raised off the ground. Now, I've still got the port side to do, or the starboard side to do. I've done the port side. Now, uh, obviously, we can't glass completely on the underside of the pocket, but what I've done is flipped it today and glassed all the way along there. So, we've got good lamination underneath as well. And the layup I've used for the whole thing was uh, 450 chop, 600 double bars, and 450 chop. So an incredibly um, tough layup for a side pocket, but I want it to have that rigidity and strength because um, it's gonna help support the side of the hull. So I want it to be really strong there. Anything to do with this boat, I've just been trying to over-engineer it and build it as strong as I can. Now, uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that side pocket uh, spans about 2.6 meters So if anyone was to stand on that, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put any supports underneath yet We'll glass it in and see how strong it is But um, if someone was to stand on that it might flex a little bit because it is a good sort of four inches off off the deck All right, I'm gonna jump in glass the starboard side up and hopefully by the time I do that the port side bottom will be dry and then I can uh, grind and trim the edges and then we can put it in place and uh, glass it in while the starboard side dries So it's all about uh, juggling time with this so trying to make sure that you're not losing too many calendar days by um, Just having uh, layups uh, waiting to dry. So I've trimmed it up got it ready to sit it in place Now the laminate wasn't perfect on these corners. There are air bubbles over the top here, but I'm not too concerned being a side pocket. It doesn't have to be watertight or anything It will be anyway once the flow coat goes off over it and it is vinyl ester resin. So yeah, it is what it is. I think uh, The only way around Significant air bubbles is to probably pre-wet the glass, but in this case um, For the application we're using it for I'm not too worried all right, so what I'll do is chock it up, sit it in place, and then what we'll do is uh, clean the surface, prep all the surfaces, and then uh, start to start tabbing it in. Pretty snug fit along there, it's looking pretty good. And obviously to tab this in guys, I'm gonna use a cabosil and resin mixture and uh, run a nice uh, radius along the edge of the hull there. And then that'll give us something nice uh, for our glass to go up to up the side of the hull. And you can imagine this is gonna offer a lot of rigidity to the side of the hull. So um, I'm gonna do a reasonably heavy layup to make sure it is stiff. All right, let's get stuck into it. So the layup I used for that guys to tab and glass the side pocket in was uh, again three layers. So 450 chop, 600 double ice and 450 chop. Again, an excessive layup on the top side, but uh, look, I want this to be rock solid. So 
Uh, the next stage, we'll let this set up tonight and uh, take to the side of the boat. So then we can remove our chocks and the clamp at this end, and then we'll get under there. And I've had a look, there's plenty of room underneath the side pocket there to lay down and uh, get up under there. And we'll get a nice radius up under there as well and glass that to the uh, side of the boat underneath. Now, and then we'll just tie in our end bits and uh, that's it, it'll be glassed in. After that, I'll put uh, one small divider, I think, in here where the joint is across there, so uh, stuff can't slide back from that front section into here. And then I think we'll leave the whole section open and I'll put a couple of hole stiffeners up there which we can mount our gaff and uh, tag pole holders to. So that's where we're at. Uh, relatively straightforward, guys. So we'll kick on with this one and keep going. Oh, all right, guys. Well, I've just finished glassing the underside of both of these side pockets. All I did for the layup on the underside was uh, two layers of 450 chop. I didn't worry about the double bias under there. This is already quite sturdy enough without that extra double bias. And I've just tied in our corner pieces as well. So uh, I've just finished laying those up. That's the wet one there where it joins into the forward bulkhead and the aft bulkhead. And it's all looking pretty Mickey Mouse. All I've got to do to get this boat ready now uh, and basically all the glassing finishes, a few minor touches up here and there and around the place. So it's nothing crazy, nothing worth putting a video together for you guys worth. So this is probably gonna be the last uh, fiberglassing video I'll do on this boat. And uh, look, that's a huge relief for me. It's a massive milestone. I'm really stoked about it. And it's, uh, it's been a long time coming, that's for sure. So, uh, but to finish off these side pockets, all I'm gonna do is add a small divider in here. And then uh, I'm gonna add a couple of hole stiffeners um, up in there. So they're relatively simple, straightforward. And then what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of gussets up under the gunnel there, just to give that gunnel a bit of strength along there. And I'll probably put two along each side and that will give me uh, something to run my cables through as well. So I'll punch a couple of hole saws through it up high and uh, run maybe a little bit of pipe or something through there, probably just conduit and run the cables through that. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to leave this one, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. That's the thumbs up. If uh, you wanna see more of our content and you already haven't, hit the subscribe button. That little red notification bell will notify you when we post content. Uh, I think up next will be probably some fairing, which I'm not looking forward to, but I, it's all part of the process. Stick around if you wanna see more of this stuff. Thanks, guys.